Okay, it was the trial anyway, but I am more excited for this one and for this shape because this is exactly like in this. Seriously? It goes like that. Wow. Oh. <laughs> wow. As you can see, nothing is safe in this house. Well, if it's a food. So this was actual leftover that I made that from that was a chicken soup with a chicken in there that we were just keep pushing around and now it turned into an amazing cold cut that we love so much so I definitely am going to work on this recipe even further and just playing with that creating new flavors new day new project today i want to create kind of like a spice mix but it's made with vegetables we have this in hungary and probably in other parts of europe as well but it's basically just a mix of vegetables and we can just use it in soups and stews so first i'm going to dehydrate them this spice mix or vegetable mix is going to serve almost as like a vegetable broth it's gonna be a nice additional flavor to soups or any kind of stew and i can use that on some meat as well On hot days like that, I like to use the dehydrator outside. So after I dehydrate, I'm just going to grind that and then that's all I have to do. And it's going to be great for soups or stews or use it on a meat. It's basically just vegetables. One of the best part in homemaking, there are no rules. I can get creative with that as much as I want and I really enjoy this part. This one is easy to make and it's very delightful to eat especially on the hot summer nights so usually i like to prepare this for as a breakfast and i like to shred that but if you are patient enough and you have time you can just chop them up for tiny pieces because it does count in the flavor if you just cut them up like that and i added two eggs a little bit of a gluten-free flour there's no really a particular recipe that i follow i just mix those together and if it looks like a paste texture then i know i'm able to fry them Sometimes it calls you right in the mood Come to my table, come to my bed Go easy my hunger, easy my head Bringing 
I'm going to prepare something in the kitchen. It's nice to break down the tasks and squeeze something in between that I really like to do. Sun, go to sleep every night. What's it dreaming of? I wonder. How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. about to check out how the gummy Legos turned out. Wanna avoid gluten and dairy? This recipe can work for you very well, although it's very crumbling. So it works better for a muffin shape or more like a cupcake shape, and it's very tasty with some coconut cream. But I didn't have any, so I'm just going to serve it as is with some monk fruit on the top. And additionally to the original recipe, I added some carrots, some kale powder. I'm just hiding vegetable as much as I can. <laughs> the main ingredients for the street are beans. So it's very healthy and rich in the sense of you get full very quickly. I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down The sky is falling down I added some shredded carrots to the omelette. We don't really taste it in there, but this is just an additional vegetable to our meal. Mm -hmm. 
the granola that I made yesterday it will come handy today I'm going to put on top of the vanilla yogurt and I'm going to add some cherry powder and raspberry powder and some passion fruit flakes After a long day of hard work, everybody is going to be hungry, so I'm going to prepare some chicken breast that I'm going to slice very thin. To stay top of the dishes, I like to wash a dish every time I have to wash my hand. It's really fun to use some colors when I'm cooking, but also adding herbs and vegetables just will make it even more healthy.
We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car We had this dessert as I grew up. It was made from cottage cheese. Obviously, we cannot eat that, so I'm going to try to create from something else. And I just used some gelatin and egg yolk to make it more creamy and more solid. And uh, since I was working with almond milk, I didn't heat it up all the way because it just doesn't like that temperature. It just starts to separate and all goes downhill. measure when I make this dough but basically for the sweet potato that I cooked I just slowly adding the domestic gluten-free flour and I'm trying to create a dough that is kind of in the texture that is not too hard and be prepared it's very sticky <laughs> but if you use a little bit of a flour on your hand it it will be easier to form the dumplings I drop them in the simmering water and I cook them for about 10 to 15 minutes. It depends on the size of the dumpling. And once it's floating on the top of the water, I cook them for one more or two more minutes. shoulders cause I know yesterday ain't coming back mm -hmm. I'm gonna be the best day Ooh. oh my I will listen to the ocean that it's unsaid words be spoken and I'll let my mind be carried by the waves oh I hope
I am starting to prepare the dinner a little bit earlier because I'm going to make some Hungarian chicken paprikas and that needs to be cooked for a very long mm. time. I had some extra chicken thighs but basically I tried to do work with a whole chicken so the back part is going to be in the soup and the rest of them will be in the chicken paprikash and for tomorrow I'm going to saving the other parts the upper thighs and I'm going to make something else out of that <laughs> and that's me switching to a bigger pot I always do that I, <laughs> I always think I can fit in there but nope Dinner time is almost here, so I'm going to make some dumplings into the soup. And guys, as I said, my plan for my website is to posting more videos over there. So I'm thinking to add this type of things like how I make these dumplings in more detail so that way it's easier to follow up for you. So if you go to my website or you can sign up for my newsletter you will notified soon as i post this recipe up there and the rest of it as well Starting the dinner with soaking the bread in some water and then starting the rice as well. Tonight I'm going to make a Hungarian stuffed chicken and I'm saving the rice water. Rinsing the hair with the rice water can actually add volume to the hair. Also I can just water the plants with that. It gives them some nutrition. So for the stuffed chicken, I used my thyme infused salt that I made on the summer and I just rub it very well into the chicken. And once the breads are, bread slices are soaked, I'm just going to squeeze out the water, add some eggs, some flour and lots of parsley to it. Preferably fresh ones, but I don't have any fresh parsley so I'm going to use my dried ones and that's what I'm going to stuff under the skin of the thighs. to bake it on 375 degree Fahrenheit for about an hour or so. Thank you. 
because of the hot weather i'm trying to limit the cooking <laughs> in the kitchen so i like to prepare more raw vegetables during the summer time i still make some soup here and there and stews I prepare this salad every single summer that's a tradition I grew up with that and basically it's very simple you just have to use whatever vegetable you like and those vegetables like the cucumber that has a tendency to have more water I slice them a little bit thicker and cauliflowers and other vegetables that are kind of harder I cut them to smaller pieces and once everything cut up I'm just going to add some salt some bay leaf and a little bit of apple cider vinegar and I'm just going to crush them because that will bring out the flavor I can store them in the refrigerator and it's gonna be good up to six months When the weather is warm like that, I like to prepare chicken because it cooks faster than anything else and I just prepared this with the spice that I recently made. If you have not seen it, I shared that in my previous video and I'm just going to quickly fry them. the vegetables tightly in the jars and I will put it in the refrigerator make sure that it has liquid that covers the top and it will be good up to six months really into the mood to create more orange colored <laughs> things so I'm going to make a sweet it's basically just a marzipan and I'm just going to add this coloring and some tropical flavor this papaya powder and I am going to make them into a flower shape preparing more vegetables this is gonna be for the dinner I am going to make some rolls and I'm going to use some hummus that I was so excited about because this hummus is so delicious it just makes everything creamy so any vegetables that uh, normally we wouldn't touch just as it's safe in this roll hmm, it's very good but here's the thing I bought this hummus and it was super hot well at this time I didn't know yet but <laughs> soon I will find it out <laughs> Thank you. 
Finally, the marzipan is cold enough that I can make the shapes. Since the vegetable rolls won't be enough for dinner, I'm going to add some sausages for the boys and Jord. And then I am going to make this salad bowl. I'm going to have this pasta and some veggies with that, some spices and nutritional yeast and olive oil. And I'm just going to mix all those together. I think cold chicken pieces would complement this salad as well, or maybe some hard boiled eggs. Well, next time I'm not going to pick the jalapeno kind. <laughs> I have a basket in the pantry where I keep all the leftover nuts and just things that doesn't get eaten. So I'm going to create some things with that. Usually I make a bar because that's the easiest if it's about sweet. So I'm going to use some almonds and hazelnut dates. And the main ingredients that is important in there is the cocoa butter. It acts like a uh, glue it will hold that together and even on the room temperature
I made stuffed cabbage last week and I had some leftovers from the meat and the rice mixture so it's ready to go into another recipe and now I'm just going to use some tomato sauce and lots of maple syrup some pepper and salt and I am well basically the recipe is stuffed pepper <laughs> so it's similar to the stuffed cabbage but it's made with tomato sauce and guys this is so yummy this is my husband's favorite and since I don't have big peppers just little ones I'm just going to stick them into the soup We get lots of roses and so it's given it's free. <laughs> I'm going to share with you uh, some recipes how I use them in the kitchen because they are so beneficial to our health.
told inside my head I'm too shy to straighten up my bones and be a man I gotta tear this world up We're gonna have some friends over tonight, so I am preparing some dinner, mostly just side dish because Joat is going to smoke some chicken drumsticks on the grill and I'm starting the preparing with the sweets just because it's more fun. <laughs> There's a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by Doesn't make it easy The other keys in my heart can take me Somewhere in the cradle But now the turn for me after the Who you carry me like I am going Oh, 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 take me back where I've been I want it all I have feeling that the moon is all gone Hold on, we'll be together Take me back where I've been I want it all I have feeling that the feeling is all gone take off the leaves from the stems once it's dried because it's so much easier that way Dehydrating these roses made a wonderful scent in the house. I put the rice noodle into a hot water and once it's boiling I'm going to just turn off the stove and just let it soak for two minutes and then rinse it with a cold water. I rinse the rice paper with some water. I'm going to fill it up with all sorts of goodies and some flowers, edible ones. <laughs> and I'm just going to roll up some veggies in there as well. And I'm going to make a sauce for that.
peanut butter and some cocoa aminos and some hot spice, a little bit of a ginger, a little bit of a water, just to get the runny texture. Get some celery, sage, and basil. So first of all, I am going to wash them and then I'm going to dry just the water off of this herb. So I'm not going to dry the herbs, just the water that I washed with. And I'm going to hang them on the drying rack and I will get back to it once it's dry in um, an hour or two or so. <laughs> When I was looking into ways of preserving fresh herbs, this is something that I really wanted to try because to be tell the truth, I don't like the dry herbs, but if it's infused in the salt, I think it's gonna be a different story. Oh my, mm. wow. This, this will be a perfect present to my friends because it's from my garden, I made that, I can make an amazing gift basket including this one. So I'm very looking forward to the Christmas time when I can pull this out and surprise my friends with that. I have to create some sweet that I like.
my older son got braces he had to have four teeth extracted for that reason so we are doing a lots of soft food and grounded meat <laughs> lately so make sure we can comfort him and he can eat properly In my last video, I shared our new morning routine where I actually bought this cute storage box for baked goods. And let me tell you guys, this is so inspiring to me. I started to look into new things to make because it's just really fun to load up this little box. making danish for breakfast i can only just blame myself it was my idea to make them <laughs> will i make them ever again sure but not for breakfast it took so many steps to let the dough rest and then roll many many times yeah and probably i'm going to opt out of that shape as well it looks beautiful but my family eats faster than um engaging with how it looks like <laughs> so the run shape worked out better i was able to put more jam on the top and it was faster to make but it was fun to make this as a fun project definitely going to try the danish but i prefer salty food so i made some stir fry for myself for breakfast
might have a few leftover hazelnuts I'm going to use that and adding some dried papaya and I'm going to add some chocolates and I'm going to cover that I think we are covered with sweets. We are good. <laughs> we don't do anything special for Valentine's Day. We don't really celebrate. But I like to bring in all the pink and heart aspect to it. And then one of the way I was able to reduce the decor in our celebrations even if it's Christmas or Easter you name it is that I'm focusing on the food so I can create this environment where we celebrate and we enjoy the occasion but as I'm dressing up the table with all colorful food that kind of can give us the feeling of whatever we want to celebrate so now I'm preparing some very simple one I'm just adding some some cocoa butter to it that will be the glue and I have some cherry powder and then for sweetener I used some maple syrup and almond flour is the main ingredient in there but first I'm going to put it in the refrigerator so it will harden up a little For these balls I used orange flavor and for coloring I used anatto for the green color, I used spirulina. Here comes the fun part. I feel like a kid again. <laughs> As I'm, I'm making these shapes, I feel like I'm playing with a Play-Doh. <laughs> but these are so pretty and colorful. I wanna create small, itty bitty, cute sweets. going to prepare food for a whole entire week that will be including snacks and lunch dinner they are gluten and dairy free and processed sugar free as well I'm going to share with you how I simplified how to gather the ideas what I'm going to cook for a whole entire week also I'm going to share with you how I store this food to keep fresh five times longer Spending a long time to figure out what to cook, it has never worked for me. So I came up with this solution that is working for me lately and that is to make five categories and each of them I'm going to write them on a different paper and I'm just going to let it sit <laughs> and whenever I have an idea I'm just going to write it down. Since I have these categories I can just match them and either I can create some snack or dinner out of it. So the categories are meat vegetables which can be raw or cooked so that way I can use them for snack or to dinner as a side dish also I'm going to have snacks divided into salty and sweet category and breakfast I'm going to start with these peppers and tomatoes and they were given because they are from my garden so I had no choice I had to pick that one to process. 
Although I am not strict with my schedule when I'm planning out food, I'm just thinking about like what kind of meat to eat. And then I will pick up some vegetables from the store that they look nice and fresh because you never know when you go to the grocery store when you're going to have luck <laughs> and find something that looks nice. So basically I'm just picking five different kinds of vegetables and I'm trying to play around with that. Also I have some additional vegetables in the freezer. Sometimes I have them from the garden. So that gives me plenty of variety. This recipe is one of my favorite. Sometimes I make this around Thanksgiving as well. I know it's not included in the traditional <laughs> Thanksgiving menu, but we love this so much. Basically with any kind of meat, it works very well, especially with beef. But the taste of the clove, it will surprise you how good it tastes in there. It's a little bit tangy and a little bit sweet taste. I have a hard time to describe that to you, but I can tell you this is amazing with some meat. For next, I'm going to prepare the third type of stew that I'm going to make and I'm going to need some garlic, some almond milk. You can use any type of milk that you like. Just make sure it's not sweetened. So because we're going to create some salty recipe, I'm going to use some gluten-free bread as well. Meanwhile, Jot was working on some beef jerky and I helped him to put some spice on it. And I have it on the screen what we used. But basically the secret is to have a bunch of different spices. And one of the things that I like to put on it is ginger. It just makes it to a whole new level. It's amazing. This stew contains a lot of iron because it's just basically full of spinach and the milk and the bread makes it very creamy and the garlic makes it tasty. I sometimes I serve it with some sunny side up eggs on the top but you can basically eat it with all kinds of meat or without a meat. It can be a breakfast or a lunch or a dinner. It depends what you like. Meanwhile, Joad started to put the meat into the dehydrator. I will set aside to chill these three pots and while they are going to cool off, we're going to have some program outside of our home. So we left for a good chunk of time. <laughs> so we will get back to this cooking and baking on the afternoon. So this set that I have, this vacuum set, some of them are glass containers and some of them are bag. And I love the bags on so much. This is a crucial for me to prepare food because what takes the longest is to peel and chop up the vegetables. And with this method, I can peel and chop up vegetables days before I want to use them. I love these jars for food storage because I get to see what's inside and also it keeps things fresh longer. When I'm 
I'm preparing a bigger amount of food, this is a perfect time to clean out my refrigerator. We like to drink smoothie every single day but additionally or instead of the smoothie when we don't have ripe bananas we just like to do some juicing so I'm going to prepare ahead a few batch because uh, it's just easier in the morning when I go ahead of the game and of course it's the best when it's freshly squeezed but believe me it's not going to stay there for that long because we love these juices especially the carrot apple combo is just amazing The celery juice is not as tasty, at least for me, <laughs> as the carrot apple combo, but it has so many health benefits that I like to drink that. I always like to have some raw vegetables that are already cut up because it's just easier to grab when the kids are looking for some snack. It's gonna be great with hummus or even if I cook I can just use the celery or the carrots. So it's definitely helping me if it's already been cut up. the chicken uh, sometimes we buy this at a grocery outlet because it's just a better price over there and we're going to bake it right away so I'm going to have two of them that I'm going to marinate in this dish and you guys have seen this before so this is the vacuum lid for this glass uh, container and if I suck out the air it opens the pores of the meat so whatever you can marinate for 24 hours that's actually going to get done in one hour in this dish and this is one of the reasons I wanted to buy that so that speeds up the process so I'm going to marinate one that we're going to bake on the grill and we're going to use this as a cord cut we can save a bunch of money on that because cord cuts are very expensive also they always contain something else in there so this is gonna be pretty amazing on top of just some kind of stew or in the salad. It's just multiple options how to use that. Even just a quick snack with some deviled eggs or something. And for the other two chickens, I'm just going to do a shish kebab. To coat the chicken, I like to use each week different herbs or spices. Mm -hmm. 
Making all the meat on the barbecue, it definitely makes it more tasty. For the shish kebab, you can pretty much get creative as much as you want. I love to use some peppers as well, but onions and other vegetables uh, taste amazing too. One of the things that I love about this juicer that is very easy to clean, basically I can get it done in just a few minutes and once it's dry I'm going to put it together so it will be very convenient when I want to use it, I can just grab it and I can put it together very fast. I'm gonna use half of this sauce on the salmon, the rest I'm going to save it up for a dressing. I also like to use some dill on fish. Oh my god, check on that meat short! Once in a while I have to try what I make, <laughs> so I ate some rice with that pepper and tomato sauce and Max wanted to have some of the juice and everything tasted good. I love these square metal boxes because they are a very convenient size and I can travel with that. I can freeze food in there. It has multiple function, but I need to put some tag on it so we know what's in there. For next, I'm going to make some breakfast, but sometimes we like to eat this as a snack as well. I used dragon fruit because I will find some at Costco, but you can use any type of fruit. Guys, this is amazing. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Mm, it's the best so far. Really? Mm -hmm. You have to try it. What do you think? I think it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. mm. Perfect. For the long term storage, I like to use the rack and seal. But for a shorter term, I like to use this one that has a little hole where I can suck out the air and I can close it and open. So I have an excess for that without I have to cutting it down and just wasting it away. I can just wash it and reuse it. So this is where I'm going to store this beef jerky and throughout the week we can just open, take out some and just reseal it. These resellable bags are just so helpful to me in this process. This is a key to prepare a food for a whole entire week. Once it's done, you can add some banana slices or other nuts, whatever you like, you can just change it around. The kids felt the good smell <laughs> that was lingering around in the kitchen, so they wanted to taste it. The 
there is one thing that granola can taste amazing but also you can just use up all the leftovers from the pantry so i had some walnut that was the amount that i couldn't make anything farther out of it <laughs> and i had some almonds so all the things that we don't usually eat separately or i just have less i can just use it up in a granola bought these little reusable see-through bags last year and I've been using them and it's a perfect size and I love that I can see what's in there. With this vacuum food storage method, the food can stay fresh five times longer. I find this dried jackfruit at the grocery outlet and I love that store because they are bringing food there that are close to the expiration date so you can buy them cheaper. A very quick reset in the sink. guys this is this is incredible if you haven't made this one yet out of all this food please try this one this is amazing like this maple syrup it just makes it so crunchy and sweet the toasting just brings out the flavor Cleaning and putting away the dehydrator. These are a very rewarding moment. <laughs> this is a fun part when I get to put them away and I know my refrigerator will be filled with all kinds of snacks and dinner type of foods and lunch type of food. So we can just choose and pick how we want to serve it and eat it. I, I'm telling you, a clean house is a very nice feeling, but having the refrigerator full with food that is ready to eat, <laughs> nothing can top that. 
On the top shelves, I've got the oatmeal and the juices. On the second shelf, I have some meat that is ready to eat and some vegetables as well. And on the bottom, I have the prepared vegetables and some beef jerky. I have some raw vegetables that I can use. I have some hummus and I keep the cold cuts down there so it's easy to see in the drawer. I have some fermented veggies as well and I keep the dairy free cheeses in this box. going to cut this meat into a very thin slice so these will serve us as a cold cut we can put this on top of the salad or next to the stew it's just a many ways we can eat that So we started to prepare all this food in the morning and we had a program to do and we continued on the later afternoon and by the night it's it was all done so that will help you throughout the whole entire week it's gonna be easier to pack lunch for short I don't have to worry in the morning if I'm not done with the breakfast right away because I know we have something to eat from there thank you so much for watching until the end if you enjoy this content don't forget to like share and subscribe and check out my other videos where you can find more ideas what to make that is gluten and dairy free thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon bye